allow a nice slash up. It had X City Rail, it had X City Rail 2759 leading, a, G, a GE CX unit trailing second, and a CN ES44 AC trailing third. Simple on the strain is CN M302. The M302 originates from the Symington Yard in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Heads east to the McMillan Yard in Toronto, Ontario, where it terminates. Yeah, heads east to the McMillan Yard in Toronto, Ontario, where it terminates. It gets there by going through the states. Let's get a closer look. I'm not allowed to go past these pylons. DP all right, CN2875. There's four locomotives on this train. This train must be a long one or something like that. There's the end of CN M302. Off it goes to the Mac yard. All right, we got CN Q122 coming down the line. With CN31, with 3166 and 3233. Yeah!
veterans, veterans unit, veterans unit, all right. This is my fourth time, this is my fourth time, this is my fourth time seeing 3233, the veterans unit. This is Q122. The 122 originates from the Q the Q122 originates from the Markham Yard in Homewood, Illinois. Heads east. Heads east. Heads east to the Tashi Yard in Montreal, Quebec, where it terminates. Alright, we got VA 84 departing London. Alright, we got VA 84 departing the London station. With VIA engine. With VIA engine 6434. Via, and via and via engine 901 as the rear engine with four coaches all right we got CNA 424 coming down the line with a big flash up including something special. It's a short one, wow. So we got CN20, so we got CN2876 leading. 3069, yeah, Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit, all right. Twenty-eight eighteen, twenty-eight fifty-four, and twenty-seven oh three. What a big flash up with the Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit in it too.
there's the end already. This train was a short CN A424, which originates from... It starts out as A484, which originates from Flat Rock, Michigan, terminates in Sarnia. Once this train leaves Sarnia, it turns into 424, which goes from Sarnia to, to McMillan Yard in Toronto, Ontario. This is my second time seeing the 3069 Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit. Nice to see it again.